we go to the API references globals so let me actually let me create a folder for this section And for this example, I'll, I split the window in the API reference and the test. The first item is the after all, we use it extensively on the course, but I'll, I'll create an example for it anyway. Okay, it runs after the, the test. Oh, actually. Okay, so it runs after the test. Actually, let me create the test one. Okay, so it runs after all the tests and also it receives a timeout. So let me place a timeout of one millisecond and I'll place a callback. So I'll set the timeout to two milliseconds. Okay, so it times out um, because I have specified only one millisecond and this one took two milliseconds. So let's increase so it doesn't break the other tests. We also have the after itch. Okay, so the after it runs after every test and it also have it has a timeout. So if I change the timeout to one millisecond, it will probably break the tests. The same way we have the after all, we also have the before all. So I'll just copy the, these examples and change the after to before. Okay, so before each and before all at first and before each, before each test, no secret there. And we also have the timeout for both before all and before each. We use the describe to create a group of tests that run together and also those before each and before all they behave based on the scope of the describe so let me place all of those only in the scope of the one
okay so you can see my test inside the block described for one in the order before all before each after all after each they run only for the test one and they leave the test two intact you can also use a describe inside a describe Okay, so describe one, inner describe. You can use the describe each to duplicate the same task suits but for different data. So let me show this in action, it will be clear how it works. And actually I'll copy this example. Okay, so those are the describes that use this data. So for each describe run, we have this block of data. So the first data will be the A, the second the B, and the last one will be the expected value. And we can use this syntax to replace the text of the describe. So in this case, we have dynamic tests. So the first one we would add one plus one, the second one plus two, etc. And we can also place the total here. And also, let me add the index. Okay, now on the name of the describe, we have the add, the, the one plus one, and also the result, and also the index of the describe. We can also use a table literal syntax. So the headings are separated by this pipe. And those are the describes that are using the, the table with the literal syntax. In this case, they are using the variable reference. So let me create some chaos here. Let me replace this header and see what happens. And it fails. Uh, let me see if it has some specification. Okay, it fails because it's, it won't set this variable with the correct value here because I've renamed it. So let me rename back to expected. If you want to run only one describe and ignore the others, uh, I can. We can add an only to the describe. And you can see here that only the first described run and the other ones were skipped. It all it is also available for the describe each. And also this this syntax with only it also has an alias that you can use the f first so let me remove this and place a f describe and see what happens and it works it runs only this this describe And as we have the only, we also have the skip. So in this case, it will run all the other tests except this one. OK, 
Okay, so we skip this test. And it also have an alias, and you can use the X describe. It also works for the describe itch. Okay, now we have the test. The test have also another alias that is the it. So this first test is test and the second one is it. So let's test and see if both runs. And okay, both runs. If we return a promise inside the it, 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 it waits for this promise to be resolved. So So this test will wait 100 milliseconds before it finishes. Okay, so here it's waiting 108 milliseconds. And also we can use a done callback. So I'll, I'll remove the return and I'll paste a then. And okay, it has the same effect. If I remove the call, let me comment this. Test, it will time out because I never called it done. The same way we have the describe each, we also have the test each. So let me just copy this example. Okay, our test is here, so so this one is related to this test. We also can use a little table with the test itch. Okay. And I won't do those tests, but the only and the skip will run the same way that this describe runs. And we also have the to do test, so it shows that this test is a to do. So let me copy this. And actually, we don't need this, we're not using. And when we run, we see that we have one to do, and is this one to do add should be associated. 